give you all a quick rundown on how to use a snare. Not a lot of videos out there about snares and some of the first things I ever trapped with. Animal walks through a hole. Animal doesn't go anywhere. Pretty straightforward concept, right? On this end you have the swivel. What I'm going to do is take an anchor. Earth anchor. I'm going to attach it with an S hook, J hook, whatever you want to call it. Put some crunch proofs on this one. An additional swivel. You can make that out with my glove on. And I'm going to run the S hook through like that. All right, I'm going to put another one through it like so. Two holes in each end. Now I have an additional swivel. Gloves are in the way, and again, the sun's so bright I can't even see what I'm filming. And I'm going to attach like that. Find my S hook tool or J hook, whatever you want to call it again. A very handy tool. Crimp, 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 dollar crimp. All right. I'm going to pop her down a very simple crimp. Now I'll take anchor. And I have a link system going on here. Is the crunch proof swivel necessary? Probably not. But I'm using it. Animals get caught in these, they die very quickly. Simple strangulation. And they are just so simple to set. Although I will get aggravated because I'm trying to film it. Which slows me down. I should probably put a trapper's tag on here. Tags. I'll show you how to do that. There's a zoom out feature on this camera. Anyways, tag, right? I'm going to take it and pretty much just wrap it around this swivel. I've actually never done this before. <laughs> take you some pliers. We'll send her through. Simple physics. Now, for whatever reason, Mr. Game Warden is trespassing on my property. He's going to look at this tag and be like, oh, Mr. Daniel's got a trap up here. And he may or may not call me. And if he does, I'll say, yes, Mr. Game Warden, I do have a trap up there. Did I catch anything in said trap? Nope. Okay, so what's the point of the phone call? Mr. Game Warden? That's one thing I wonder about. Why is there a trapping season? Why is there a bounty in the state of South Carolina to incentivize deer hunters, mostly, to kill coyotes? Yet there's a trapping season Come on now. Alright. Find me a support wire. I've already got one pre made. You can get this stuff anywhere. Give me a second. I'll show it to you in the video. Support wire. Cut you off a piece. Put a J hook in. All right. You got the driver. Round out a little slot at the tip. 
right. Slot goes right there in the J hook. You drive that thing into the ground. It's in the ground. And you put your swivel, not swivel, whatever, whatever this thing is called, on the tip, and it holds your loop up. That simple. So, I'm going to cut this part of the video off. Right there. Take a walk about. That's where I just set the T-bone set that y'all watched me set. Bada boom, bada bing. Come on up that hill, right? Goes right, he's going to smell it. Goes left, he's going to smell it. Right down in the middle. The only thing I got to worry about is somebody driving over it. But we're out here in the top of this cut over there. Shouldn't be anybody up here driving around unless I get lazy and ask somebody to check my traps for me and then it's my fault. All right. Got tracks, 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 tracks. Boom. Nice trail. Sure if you can make it out or not. Yeah, you can. Absolutely, you can. So I'm going to drive it right in here. There's a nice piece of dung, actually. Let's go a little further down. I like this spot better. Might set too. Yep, that's their trail. That's their trail. They're going to use that 100% of the time. I see a choke point up there. Oh, yeah. A little while we're coming out the road. One thing you want to be careful not to do is step on the trail. But at the same time, when you're walking around the edge of the trail, you don't want to make a new trail. So it's kind of like a catch-22. I'm going to have to get on the trail. Just don't want to be walking up and down it because it will smell you to death. This is some beautiful looking traffic snaring right here. Wow. All right, man, they're coming through here hard. You got to be careful with all this stuff because you can't see anything. Everything blends in. You will lose a trap so fast. And then you'll feel like an idiot. All right. I'm going to drive around. Yep, that's the spot. Where's that spot? I can take it back a little bit. I'll get it right on the trail. That's some soft ground here. It's amazing. Just got a couple feet off to one side and completely different territory. That's set. Or solid. Now what I'm going to do, triangulation about right there. That briar out. That's how I'm going to want my trap. Let's see it. I'm gonna, yeah. So that's gonna go there. And that handy piece of wire I told y'all about. We're gonna drive it down into the ground with the hook facing backwards. That's it. Now I have a very sturdy piece of wire to hang this trap from. Put it on there like that. Put my wire back in there. And bend it to your heart's desire. I think my heart's desired pretty quickly. It could be a little higher. A little bit bigger. That's about a wrap. Y'all see that? I'll take some of this and pull it back out from where it got matted down. 
Now this game trail. Any dog that comes through here, it's done. Just a bit bigger. Yeah. He's going to come through with his head down. That's it. That's how you catch a coyote. <sighs> A little bit tighter in there. Hopefully, if the deer comes through, its head is up and this knocks the trap over. Like my phone just fell over. Not a big fan of this new tripod. Now, yes, I am standing on top of the trail. I want to show you all that. So zoomed in. Why was it so zoomed in? Anyways, trap, trap, trap. Gotcha. That simple. Let's go make some more. Want to watch her do it again? Shall we set one on that trail? I think we shall. I'll leave my tools right here. Two drivers and my trapping hammer. I'm going to put one there. It's already got one up at the top. I'm going to take a ride with me back to the truck. If I wasn't close to my truck, I'd be screwed because there's so much gear. These coyotes are probably just... Look at all those flies on that thing already. Who gets the flies' attention that fast? Let's go. Let's go get their attention. Hiawatha Valley. How about you? Hanging out on tailgate with Daniel. That'll work. I can't untangle another one of these old snares. So, all right, checklist. Snare. Right? Let's see about an anchor. Anchor. Anchor beats snare. With what? Crunch through swivel. Two S hooks. A lot of people call them J hooks. Whatever. I got corrected once. In an outfitter store. No, those are J hooks. I almost didn't buy them. It kind of made me that mad. Like, bro, you know what I'm talking about. Do they make a anything else hook that goes through a crunch through swivel? No. All right. Did I just buy a couple traps from you? Yes. Well, yeah, don't don't get me started. Go one more little tug. Well, somebody's out there probably thinking, "What an idiot! Why are you putting a swivel on this?" You know what? Because I can. That's why. That's why. Anchor, snare, right? Done. Support wire. Wish I had the other one a little taller, so I'm going to break out a little bigger piece this time. And show my cutting tool. Hang tight. Oh, this should be interesting. I have no idea where it is. Yes, I do. Walk straight to it. Hard to beat a good old fencing tool. See, I'm a J hook like that. Then this hook out. There's my J. When I want a little longer than I just did, pop about right there. Yep. She cut. Mr. Game Warren almost forgot about you. Got to tag the trap. I know y'all are wondering what this is. You can order them offline. I'm not going to show you my license number. A little copper tag. Oh no. Can't have a trap out without a license on it. So let's, let's 
catch and release coyotes and put tags on them to hopefully incentivize somebody to go hunt them. Yes, I'm mocking you, Department of Natural Resources, state of South Carolina. This is absolutely ridiculous. I used to get depredation permits, but the lady that issues them won't answer my phone call. So now I'm stuck having to trap in the seasons. Which is okay. I don't need to do this year round. Beautiful, right? Well, take a walk. We're going to stick it right in there between a piece of the tall. You probably have it done already, but I'm trying to show you all the video. Yes, I'm right in the middle of the trail. But the situation calls for it. This is what you will lose the fastest. And yeah, I did wax, not wax, dye my traps. My snares, that is. It's not necessary. I just did it because I was doing, I said screw it, why not? This ground feels harder. Give me that. <clears throat> All right, that's set. Try not to disturb the natural vegetation as much as possible. Well, I'm wrapped up now. I hope I don't catch any deer this year. It'll be infuriating. Researched and researched and researched. How to avoid catching a freaking deer. If trapping deer was a thing, I'd be really good at it. Yes, I'm a deer hunter. If there is anybody wondering why I do this kind of crap. One fawn a day, as the doctor says. That's what the coyotes are prescribed. One fawn a day. One size too short, one size too small. Dig that. Ooh, that's dangerous. And how am I doing that? That's dangerous. I like that set up a lot. I can't see the phone because it's so bright, but come on, give it to me.